I'm trying to remember what style of painting that this kind of reminds me of when I was in elementary school learning those styles. I remember things like, yeah, actually, no, I don't. <laughs> I, I is the fourth studio album released by Bon Iver. Fun little thing about this artist. This is a favorite artist of one of my sisters. She was really excited to hear that this album was released a while ago. And I have to review this album, even if it is several months behind. But, you know, I've, I've got to do this. Bonnie Vare is one of those artists where I feel like they get something we don't. What do I mean by that? If you listen to this music you are going to feel like the music on your CD or the digital copy that you purchased online feels tangible somehow. You feel like you can actually feel something that you could at one moment put your hands on something that would say, this is what was used to make the music. For a musician myself, uh, I feel like that's something special to be able to know that the sounds came from something that you could actually feel like connects with your audience a bit more than just feeling like you could be a spectator in a crowd or in a cafe or in a festival or rave or you know, whatever it is. This music does feel different. Artists like him and James Blake have something different also to their production. They do something where it feels, in a way, a living experience. You almost feel like the studio is coming to you. These tangible things that are really hard to explain make the listener curious as to how they are experiencing such an incredible range of emotions and also thinking, how is this made at the same time? This album has weird transitions, it has gorgeous piano in it, it has guitars, it has <laughs> it has so much. It feels like the list could become endless, but the range in which everything is utilized and created does feel practically infinite. We do get a very interesting intro with the first track called Yi. It just feels like, oh, okay, I guess we're starting now. It almost feels like a conductor is coming up and getting ready to tell the audience oh this is what we're going to start with and voila two songs i would like to particularly highlight are gelmore it feels like a very disorganized mesh of glitches and uh that also has a saxophone in it it doesn't feel like it should work but you get used to it and it becomes something that you're you're adjust to and then it just actually does work and the song faith and this one just feels like it's a sincere reaching for questions of faith and that muted trumpet it's pretty good for people who are I guess, numbed by mainstream music, you might not get this album. If you care about how music is made and what music is supposed to do for either enjoyment or on a deeper level, the human soul, there's something to be taken from this album. I kind of feel like the first half is fine. It's not dismissive at all. It just is kind of gets you into it. But that second half of the album does definitely rise up and makes a statement. The heart of the listener will be reached head on in this album. So after having listened and reviewed this album with production of 94%, creativity, 92%, expression and lyrics, 89%, I'm going to give this album a yeah. There are parts of me that, although I am vouching for this type of music, I do feel like eh, I might not listen to it as often, 
And that's probably part of the reason why I'm only giving it a yeah. But at the same time, some of it does feel a little cluttered. Some of it is on purpose, and I get that. Some of it is just kind of feeling like, eh, it could have been helmed a little differently. It could just be my ears. That's all I really have to try and come up with. The main point is it's recommendable. It's worth listening to, especially if you are really interested in production and looking for sound that can be transformative for anybody's experience. Give this one a shot. Trust me, you won't regret it. As always, thank you so much for watching, guys. And remember, if you want to discover, promote, and review the best in entertainment, remember to subscribe and follow all the social media for this channel so you can get that yes in your life. See you next time. Yeah.